Scorpios, welcome to your heart spread read for November 2021. If that's your first time, it's the new Casa here in Cancun. A little bit like in the jungle with my little back deck. It's kind of where I've been living out here. Um, and when I saw this place, I said, this is it, babe. Because uh, I just could see myself hanging out here, having a cup of coffee, doing readings. Uh, it's usually pretty quiet. It's right next to the, what they literally call Central Park. 150 foot tall forest over there. Jungle here, I guess. It's not a forest. It's well kept. It's just amazing. It's uh, hard to believe it's a big bustling city. So that's why I love it. It's great energy. Great energy. So this reading you and who's on your mind, who's in your heart. Big read for November. The whole month of November, guys. So, I don't necessarily even have to be with you. It's um, whoever you have on your uh, on your mind now, guys. All right, Scorpio, this is going to be you. I love it. The fool energy. This is where you're at and around relationships, where your mind is at or where your heart is at. This is kind of a baseline I pull to represent you separate from relationship, this one anyway, um, and kind of just where you're at. And you're wide open. You know, the fools, you're all kind of starting a new journey. That means that you recently achieved the world. So you're in this like new phase. Um, it'd be pretty, you're going to know if this is your reading. You know, you would have had just leveled up. And you know, it when it comes into this one or two position, it shows somebody that's kind of, you know, they're ready for anything. There's something going on karmically here. So let's see what you're, what you're coming, what's coming in. You know, you're ready just to uh, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. I, was, I swear to God, I was about to say, watch the Wheel of Fortune show up. I was, because of Jupiter. You know, you're the fool. You're ready to spin the, the dice like Jupiter, like spin the dice. Yeah, take a chance. And here this person comes. Wow. Um, with the, uh, Jupiter. So they could be a Sag person. Something going on with that. Um, fire. Um, and But you're known for luck and taking chances. So think long distance, think taking a chance um, with this energy. And it's hard to say who would come to whom. Um, although with the full energy can be manifestation too. You know, and I do read for manifestation a lot in spirituality. Check out the Soul Family Read if you would. I'll put a link in this description. But it's a daily read on my channel. There's a weekend up, uh, read up now. I apologize for being late. Normally Thursdays are Libra Scorpio Day. I'm just running a day behind this week. Um, so d definitely karmic. I mean, major Kana here. You're both in the throes of something. Uh, let's see how you're reacting to each other. Six of Wands. Well, uh, if there's anybody cross-watching, they're into you in case there was any doubt. Um, so, yeah, this is your uh, reading, Scorpio. This person you're thinking about, um, you're way into them um, with the Six of Wands. Um, very uh, sexual energy, uh, uh, kind of tension, you know, can be, um, let's see what they get uh, over here. I was going to say obsessive. Okay, Ace of Wands. Okay, well, I mean, here's one of them deals. You don't even really know anything about tarot. Just kind of look at those two. Uh, next to each other. There's uh, you and there's your person and um, How's that looking? Like you guys are really you want to be alone together like we'll just give you guys your time and uh, Come back in a couple days um, And for you uh, Scorpio with the ace of wands. I feel like that's indicating that they're pretty sincere That they're giving you their one now and it is a very sexual feeling uh, here but there's got, got to be a karmic aspect to it. You probably had the soulmate recognition, eyes locked across the crowded room. And then it's like ba boom, boom, and the best sex maybe of your whole life, um, that kind of thing. Like there's just smoke coming out of your ears type of deal. Wow. Four swords. Now this is your advice from spirit towards your person. Um, Scorpio before I say anything about that I'm thinking about it and yeah, let's see what their advice is the Sun holy moly wow. um, 
going to get a clarifier on your advice. The Ace of Swords, the Five of Swords, wow. Um, your advice from Spirit is that you need some time in this relationship. And really talking about healing. And it's talking about clarifying what the Ace of Swords gives the Five of Swords. This could even go to the point of some kind of verbal conflict or you setting a boundary here, Scorpio. So I'm not really sure what's going on. You're feeling wide open. You're ready to jump off the cliff. Um, and then this person's like, oh my God, you know. Um, and now we're getting advice from Spirit. Take it easy a minute. Be careful. Clarify your fool. With the Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. So you weren't completely free with the fool. You're carrying some kind of a... You know, this could be a child, too. It's not, I don't want to say carrying a burden. I'm saying carrying an emotional attachment. And this emotional attachment it might not be yourself. You know, maybe there's a child involved. So maybe, like, this is advice from spirit uh, that there needs to be some time before you introduce your person to your child. That's kind of specific, but uh, in any case... Uh, if you want to go ahead and think inner child, maybe there's so, there's a, like four weeks, four months being said here. Like it, like get, give yourself a buffer, give yourself time. But it's very strange because with the sun being their advice, it's their advice to pour it on. So I don't see this as a time um, during which like you you wouldn't see each other. I don't think it's like talking about taking a break. It, it's to me, I gotta tell you, uh, this uh, maybe it sounds codependent or something, but uh, this is, I told you, it's ma massively karmic coming into this. Um, and Jupiter here, Wheel of Fortune, you've got the Sag energy, you've got fire. Um, they're coming in here, uh, Scorpio, um, and I think they're gonna heal you. I'm just flat out gonna tell you, uh, whatever is necessary, heal your heart. They're going to assuage your concerns about this, uh, possibly your child, but this emotional concern you have. There's something you feel like you need to kind of nurture and protect, uh, and wh whether it is actually your child or some emotional part of yourself. So you're not quite the fool, the, the, the gypsy, you know. Um, and this person is coming in here and they're honest as hell and they're on fire. And they're burning for you. I mean, you've got the Ace of Wands over the sun. I I got to be honest with you. I I'd be real surprised if anyone's ever loved you like whoever, however this person here loves you. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that makes them the one. I'm saying there's something karmic going on, and I think they're 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 in here just healing you. It's literally like you're laying there in the sun, you know, soaking up the sun and getting stronger. They're going to give you their strength. And they got a lot of strength here. It's energy, too. Okay, Ace of Wands and the Sun. They, they, the sun, they can, it ain't nothing to them. They're going to, it's like they're going to, like, uh, just plug in and just, not a big deal. Like uh, blood, they're going to give you some blood infusion. So how's that for codependent? Why not? It's how things roll. You know, I'm not saying, like, you live like that for the rest of your lives. And then you pick it up and you get back and when you're down they're up and up and you have a relationship <laughs> now this is advice from spirit for relationship as a whole strength that's kind of just pour it on it's coming in the in this strength card she's looking right at you scorpio it's looking right at you and uh, this it, the sun and strength this is leo energy this is the heart um high summer creation I mean if there was a, a God never said this but if there was any desire for pregnancy he's got pregnancy written all over it you know um, and this is the advice from spirit for the relationship so why I say it's not codependent it's the right thing for them to do there's a balancing of some energy it's not about, about karma bad karma good it's just like you guys always got business together and this is the, the it's not even an effort for them if they're sad and they're beautiful fire they're just throwing off that fire anyway and you just happen to be standing next to their fire and you reap the benefits you know um, and it's as simple as that you know 
you're, you're not taking anything from them. Wow. Now, as an outcome, that's crazy. Look at this as an outcome. We have the devil. Just even look at the colors. Strength. It's advice from spirit. The devil as the outcome for this Scorpio heart spread ring. I love it. I love it here. Uh, this is another platonic relationship. It's going to be obsessions, but there's also going to be deep core healing. Eighth house stuff going on in your composite, in your sinistry chart. Um, and I get from this, this is crazy, but if you could have here also sexual healing, you know. Um, there's something going to be going on about the physical connection, and it's really energetic. Um, um, that, and I think this is about your person given to you, Scorpio, frankly, a sexual healing that you need, whether you know it or not, you know. It could be like thrown into this kind of trust issues and it takes a minute because I'm going to tell you, probably you've already, it, it, this is the kind of crazy odd sex that's like obsessions are made from and that uh, you would be saying it's never been like this before um, and you would kind of lose your mind a little bit, you know. Um, this is a really sexy devil card too. It really captures, I think, the spirit of it. Um, but I don't think this is necessarily something to be afraid of. It's about the nature of this uh, karmic um, relationship. Um, so I think you could end up just with a really incredibly uh, hot relationship over this short period of time during which you maybe want to take it easy a little bit, let them take the lead and uh, uh, constantly just go ahead, Scorpio, and, you know, and let them take care of you. And, and they won't mind, it's all right. It's not gonna go on forever for a period of time for you to have this healing uh, Scorpio that you need so I don't know it's pretty hot heart spread you know give me a like thumbs up comment comments help a lot please subscribe thank you guys